guys, what's up? We have a couple of new cards coming from the Flames of Destruction Pact, and they are intended to make the Tindangle cards even more powerful. The first card is Tindangle Trinity. This is a Dark Fiend level 4 flip effect monster with 0 attack and 1500 defense, and its effect is you can only use the third effect with this card's name once per turn. One flip, you can special summon one base. One Tindangle base Gardener from your deck. Two, if this card is flipped face up, Tindangle monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, while this card is face up in a monster zone. Three, if this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material for the link summon of a Tindangle link monster, you can add one Gagonos end from your deck to your hand, and if you do, send one spell or trap card from your deck to the graveyard. This card has some very mediocre stats, but since it is meant to be defensive, its effects are what we are here for. The first effect brings out Tindangle Base Garner, one of the key cards within the deck to bring out the Link Monster. This means you do not have to keep adding searching cards within your deck, providing you more space for uh, protection effects or uh, destruction effects, whichever you prefer. As for the second effect, the ability to protect your Tindangle monsters from battle is decent, provided you can protect this card first to enable its effect to go off. And they work best when you can get multiple of them onto the field. So unless your opponent gets rid of this first, the other cards could become uh, potential obstacles for your opponent. As for the third effect, this card can search for a specific card, as well as getting rid of one of your other spell or trap cards. That may have a graveyard effect to get more utility out of your deck. This Gagonis End provides protection for your Tindangle Link Monster, and can provide enough burn damage uh, to finish off your opponent within the turn. However, this is dependent on meeting all of the link points for the card. As for the second card, this is what we mentioned beforehand. This is Gagonis End. This is a normal trap card that says, 1. Activate this card by targeting one Tindangle Link Monster you control. Equip this card to that monster. The equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Also, it cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Two, once per turn, if all of the equipped monster's link arrows are pointing to a monster, you can destroy as many cards as possible among those monsters and this card. And if you destroyed all those monsters and this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the equipped monster's attack. This card, when played well, can prevent your opponent from dealing with your link monsters. They would have, a focus, have to focus on getting rid of this trap card first. If paired with something like Master Key Beetle, you can make a lock to stop your opponent from doing much of anything. As for the second effect, this can finish off your opponent, as you won't have met all the conditions for this effect within the same turn, and the chances are your opponent will not have anywhere near the 8,000 life points they began with. Oh uh, well, unless they're running something like Arrow Mages, but I highly doubt it. I like these cards as this provides more purpose for the defensive style decks and encourages players to balance between offense and defense rather than your standard summon and finish your opponent off within the first turn. This reminds me uh, to an extent of Subterrors, and provides immunity effects, um, which may make this deck uh, more competitive uh, in the future. Since this is used by um, a decent uh, character in the anime, um, it will likely get even more support. So what do you think of the Tindangles? Have they got enough cards now to make them a viable threat, even if that just makes them a bit rogue? Or do they need some more Link Monsters, as I believe there is currently only one at the moment? Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.